Now this is a very well-known problem on related rate of change. Okay, so what is given? A ladder is 3.45 meters long. So this is the ladder, which is 3.45 meters. The base of the ladder, this is the base of the ladder. This slides down or slides, starts slipping or sliding at the rate of 0.45 meters per second. This is going this way. So if this, the base starts sliding down, the top will also slide down. So this is going away from the wall and this is fall, uh, falling on the floor. Find the rate of the top, find the rate of the top is sliding down the wall, this is the wall, when the, ba when the base is 2.5, 2.15 meters from the wall. So we need to write what is given. So let me use blue color. So this is, so let's call, so here one thing that you can, you should be able to see is you can see a right angle triangle. Uh, this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so let's call this is X and this is Y and this is 3.45. So one thing that you can directly look at this equation and say I can say X squared plus Y squared x squared plus y squared is equal to 3.45. That's something that you can write using Pythagoras. So I tell my student this thing that when you have a question like this, just write what you already know. Okay, so the ladder is 3.45 meters. The base of the ladder st starts slipping at 0.45 meters per second. What does that mean? So if you're defining this as x the base of the ladder slipping can be expressed as dx by dt. dx by dt. This is given to be 0.45 meters per second. So that's the rate of change of x. And what do we want to find? We want to find dy by dt. dy by dt we want to find, that's a question mark, when the base of the wall, when the base is 2.45, 2.15 meters from the wall, that means when the value of x is 2.15. I've made a mistake, I hope, hopefully you've seen that mistake, this should be squared using Pythagoras, x squared plus y squared is 3.45 squared. So now, based on this information, what can we do? Okay, before I start, I hope you know, you can understand your, your y is going to decrease. Your x is going to increase. x is positive. dx by dt is positive because this x is going to increase. dy by dt, you should have a sense, should be negative. Okay, dy by dt should be negative because the rate of change of y with respect to time, this y is going to decrease. It's constantly decreasing, so dy by dt should be negative. Even if you don't understand this, don't worry about it. Okay, so what is that we can do? Now you've got x squared plus y squared is 3.45 squared. Let's just put this here and try to find y. So can I say 2.15 squared plus y squared is equal to 3.45 squared. 3.45 squared. I'm doing it slowly so that you can pause the video at any time and try to do the rest. So I can say y squared is 2.45 squared minus 2.15 squared and then taking the square root I can say y is square root of 3.45 squared minus 2.15 squared. So at times you may not understand what you're doing but just do what you can. Okay, Slowly little things will make sense. So let me get my calculator. So shift square root bracket 
3.45 squared minus 2.15 squared. Oops, let me type in shift square root bracket 3.45 squared minus 2.15 squared and close the bracket equals. So this is 2.69, so I'll write this as 2.7. So we can say when x is, when the distance of x from the wall is 2.15, your y is 2.70, so let me write 2.7. Okay, so this is something that we may use later on. Okay, so what can we do? So, uh, let's write this again. So, let me use a different color. So, can I write now x squared? I'm going to rewrite this again. x squared plus y squared is equal to 3.45 squared. So, I'm going to use the derivative operator of d by dt. So, I can say, well, d by dt, d by dt of Okay, or let me do not the derivative operator. So let me write, let me use the, the operator d by dx. So d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of y squared is equal to d by dx of 3.45 squared. So at any point, I would like you to pause the video and try to do the next step. Okay, so this implies d by dx of x squared is 2x. The derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x. Now here you want to use, you can't differentiate y squared with respect to x, so I'm going to use the chain rule or you can also call this implicit differentiation. So d by dy of y squared times dy by dx. So this is basically the chain rule. So I'm differentiating y squared with respect to y and to get this dy cancel I put the dy and I want the dx here so I write dy by dx. Yeah. What is d by dx of 3.45 squared? Basically, here you're asking the question, how much does 3.45 change for the small change in x? Well, that's never going to change. That is zero. So this implies uh, I can write 2x plus 2y times dy by dx is equal to zero is equal to zero. So now doing a bit of algebra, I hope you can do that yourself. I can say dy by dx is equal to minus y over x. Minus y over x. dy by dx is minus y over x. Now we have to use the chain rule. Now, what can we say? We want to find dy by dt. Can I say dy by dt is again this chain rule. So you want dy, so I'll say dy by dx. If I write dy by dx here, I have to write here what? I want to cancel this dx, so I have to write dx. And I want a dt here, so I'll write dx by dt. So dy by dt is dy by dx times dx by dt. Well, what is dy by dx? That's minus y over x times, what is dx by dt? We wrote here, dx by dt, yeah, here we go. This is your dx by dt is 0.45 meters per second. So that is 0.45. Okay, so now the question is, what is dy by dt when the x is 2.15, x is 2.15, and when x is 
one five y is two point seven y is two point seven that's what we got the next is two point one five y is two point seven so you have to just substitute the value of x and y so that's equal to minus two point one five divided by two point seven times it by zero point four five so let's use the calculator okay so minus 2.15 times 0 0.45 divided by 2.7 which is minus 0 0.36 minus 0 0.36 meters per second okay so the answer is and thus this does make sense, minus 0 0.36, minus 0 0.36 meters per second. Okay, so this is in 2 dp. So if you want to write this as a centimeter, so this means uh, y, this is minus 36 centimeters per second. So in other words, what we could say is your y is good, falling. Minus stands means, what does minus stand for? Minus means it's falling down. Your y is decreasing or y, your top is falling down. X is going away, so this is a bit of common sense. X is going away, so that's why it's positive. dx by dt is positive and dy by dt is negative because this is going away and this is coming down. And that's why dy by dt is minus 0 0.36 meters per second, which is 36 centimeters per second. 